So they're covering a lot of ground at the state house over these last couple of days. And maybe you've noticed the pace has picked up a bit. It's probably because re Republican leadership has said for weeks that they aim to get out of here by Friday. Whether or not they can do it, that's still to be seen. Specifically, the work mandated by our state constitution has to be done. Lawmakers must pass state budgets before they wrap up the session, which might extend their timeline considering the House denied the Medicaid budget this week. Here's Andrew Barline. Restrictions. <laughs> Medicaid's growing in the gem state, primarily due to voters who voted to expand coverage in 2018. Yeah, I was one of thousands of Idahoans who went door to door to gather signatures to pass Medicaid expansion. But now Representative Colin Nash is one of 20 lawmakers serving in the state legislature's budget writing committee. We have a statutory obligation to pay for Medicaid and that's what the budget as presented was. To the tune of a 16% budget increase, Yep. the House said, try again. Uh, well, we'll see tomorrow uh, how JFAC responds to what happened on the House floor. House come to order. I think we have way over jumped our numbers on this and we need to realign them. A 16% increase to me is not acceptable until we can control the budget and get some hands around it. For that, I do think we should send this back to JFAC and have them uh, sharpen the pencils. Medicaid originally provided government funded health care for people with disabilities. The expansion program extended coverage to people with low income. JFAC's proposed budget totaled nearly $4.7 billion, funded largely by the federal government, and up from $2.9 billion in 2020. Everything changed um, when we had the pandemic. Democratic so Party Chair Representative Lauren Nakachea says the federal government expanded the program even further through COVID, even approving people coverage who otherwise would not qualify. Numbers from the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare show of the 450,000 people enrolled on Idaho's Medicaid roll, up to 150,000 would be removed. Because they're making too much money to qualify for Medicaid, which means they probably have private insurance, they're probably working, they're probably healthy. Several House Republicans expected the budget to drop as the state removes unqualified people from the roll. But Representative Nash says the people who don't qualify were never the expensive ones. These are healthy people, they're not using the doctor much, and they have private insurance, and Medicaid is the payer of last resort. Republicans who say we expect enormous cost savings for these people coming off the rolls just don't have their facts straight. You know, I was hopeful that Republicans would, would do the right thing. I think there was just maybe some confusion among um, freshman lawmakers about how the Medicaid budget works. Lowering the budget doesn't necessarily lower the amount of money the state spends either. Uh, a lot of these um, a lot of these things are non-discretionary, meaning that they are governed by statute. It just changes what the state plans to spend. And if they're wrong, increases the risk that funds run out and we have to do a fix mid-year. The bill is just less responsible and more risky. Just gets paid at a later date. What that means is we're just punting. We're just kicking that can down the road until that bill is due next year. Uh, that means we might have to hold provider payments. So hospitals might not get, and doctors might not get paid on time uh, until we get our act together and fund uh, the budget like we're supposed to. Now, there are pieces to this budget that are malleable when we talked with Representative Nash, and there are a few things that upset him that could potentially happen that he's hoping don't happen, Brian. So when we talk with Nash and Nekachea in tandem, they're concerned about people um, who have, like, in-home care, things mm. of that nature. There are certain things that can change. There are decisions that can be made to save money. Large amounts of money, it's unclear, um, but there are some small things that can change that would reduce services for specific groups of people. And when we talk with the Democrats today, uh, they're really hoping that that doesn't happen, but of course it's a committee of 20 people and yeah. we'll see where it goes. Everybody's got an opinion on that. That's a, that's a big committee. It is interesting, budgets, one of the most dry things that they talk about at the State House, but for the last two years, last year and this year, last year was libraries, this year it seems to be Medicaid, holding things up here at the end of the session, which you think a lot of things, after they sort all that out, we just get rubber stamped to kind of send through, but apparently not. I even joked with them, like, are we going to have a long night where we're looking at budgets and you guys are staying super late? And Ordering pizza? Nobody really answered that. They kind of were like, ha, ha you know, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so I guess we're in the same boat. At least it won't be done on Friday. At least that's the way it looks at this point. It appears so. All right. Thank you, Andrew.